All right, today we're gonna be replacing the spark plugs on my 2020 Ford Ranger. Um, I replaced these at 40,000 miles. Now I'm at about 82,000, just over. So we're gonna go ahead and replace them. This is actually a brand that uh, one of you listeners um, actually recommended to me in the comments. It's the Ruthenium HX. It's supposed to give it a big uh, power improvement. So we're gonna go ahead and replace them. That's what they look like right there. We're gonna go, go ahead and replace the spark plugs now and then we'll uh, give it a test drive and see if we feel any difference. All right, here's our four spark plugs right here. You can see the charge packs on top. There's one, two, three, and then four one in the back. On one and three, there's this little uh, plastic tab on top of the bolt. Hopefully you can see it right there. You're just gonna have to get a prying tool. I can use this one. Uh, you can use a screwdriver and just pop that off of there. And on the third one, so you can get to the little 10 meter, bro a 10 meter, <laughs> I can't talk, 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, I lied. Uh, they're not, this little bolt right here is not 10 millimeter, it's eight millimeter. And what you're gonna have to do on this back one, by the way, this back one has a little uh, kind of push holder that goes over it. So it looks slightly different than the ones on one and three like that. But uh, what you're gonna have to do on this one, you're gonna have to unplug it here. Um, you see, same connector here, just push it back with your thumbnail and then you can pull the whole thing off. Um, you have to disconnect it because it's sitting underneath this pipe right here and you'll have to rotate it and then pull it out and then you'll have access to the spark plug underneath. Right down in there, you can see it. All right, I'm using a standard 5 8 uh, spark plug socket and it's got a little rubber boot in there. That's to protect the socket, the porcelain portion of it. And it also kind of grabs a hold of it so you don't drop it down in there. Um, you will have to use a shorter extension here because I was trying to use a 12 inch and there's just not enough clearance underneath this uh, firewall right here. So you're have gonna use a shorter extension. I might actually have to stack two four inches on top of each other to get to it, but I'm on the spark plug right there and I'll get it out. All right, I'm replacing the last one now. I just wanted to warn you guys. Um, some people say you should use anti-seize compound on the brand new ones when you're putting them back in. I didn't have any, so I'm just using a small amount of this assembly lube. Um, it's a really sticky, heavyweight lube, um, and it works just fine. Um, some people might call me out for that. But anyway, when you thread this back in, make sure you thread it in by hand at first. Give it a good 10 to 15 turns by hand, um, or half turns, you know what I mean? But uh, get it th really well threaded in there before you put a ratchet on there because you do not want to cross thread these suckers. All right, they're all changed out. Here's the old ones. Um, look to be in pretty rough shape. You can see it's kind of got like a, let me see if I can get more sun on there. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of see a rusty color on there, which tells me they they were getting pretty hot. They're also pretty, uh, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but they have quite a bit of carbon on them. And I'm a little bit concerned about that rust there because it does have a boot that goes over the top of it. So there shouldn't be any moisture down in there. Um, so maybe from condensation or something, I'm not sure. But I'm glad I changed these out because they're looking pretty rough. Um, let's go for a test drive. All right, guys, I just test drove it. It runs great. Um, acceleration's very smooth. A little bit smoother than before, but it might just be in my imagination. I used an app to track my zero to 60 time before and after, and there's really no discernible difference. It does count to the nearest uh, one second, so there may be a minor difference in acceleration, but I'm not even gonna share the numbers with you because uh, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's just not that accurate, I don't think. But um, truck runs great, um, accelerates really well, very smooth, uh, very, very happy with these spark plugs. See you guys on the next one.